Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, that's great. Thank you. It's only a short hop across this pound before I moor up. Hi, and thanks for joining me. Using my Nicholson's Waterways Guide number three, I'm going to explain the extent of today's episode. In the last episode, I was passing through Glasgow Top Lock. In this episode, I exit the lock. I then pass through Bottom Lock. I carry on my way. I cross Tame Aqueduct, then I pass through Faisley Junction, I carry on in a northwesterly direction along here, and I eventually stop at Tamhorn House Bridge. That is the extent of today's journey. This lock has already been filled for me by another boater, so I'm just going to pop down the paddles and then open the gate. Second lock I go. Two helpers now, the boat in front and the boat behind. <laughs> what could be better? There I go. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Thank you. I'm not going far now. Thanks very much. Oh, you okay? Oh wow, <laughs> that was a lucky, lucky escape. Did you see that? I did. <laughs> Poor chap very nearly fell in the water, his foot slipped. So it's not far for me to go now. Let's just have a look at the map. It's over a mile anyway. <laughs> I'm actually heading now to Faisley Junction, which is one of the very well known junctions where the Birmingham and Faisley Canal comes in and joins the Coventry. There's a 
boat here called Lovely Jubbly. A well known phrase of Del Trotter. Del Boys, he was known in Only Fours and Horses. There's this boat here. This looks a nice little spot. series of pipe bridges, bridges, foot bridges through there. Coming up to a major A road. I can see it on the map, but my section of the map isn't actually uh, labelled as to what a road it is. I'm about to go over the Tame Aqueduct. Looks like it's got a pillbox at one end. I don't know if that's uh, a real pillbox or some other sort of uh, type building. Down below is a river, the River Tame. That looks like a pool box to me. unusual in that it's square. Normally they're sort of um, octagonal or hexagonal. I've got a boat coming towards me. Put one moored up on the right as well. Hoping he'll slow up. Like an army tent. That's what I thought anyway. I nearly hit this, just couldn't see it. Seems to be a Canal and River Trust depot. I had seen it ahead in the distance, but then I completely forgot about it having watched that uh, boat come towards me. And from my position, I just wasn't visible. If I'd been stood on my step, I would have seen it, but uh, no. <laughs> it was suddenly there. At least I avoided contact. These bridges are getting lower than you'd expect. There's a main road running over this one. I could see the reflection of a boat coming under the bridge. It's coming now. I actually saw it in the, um, the reflection was from the balustrade on the edge of a building. It's a glass balustrade. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word just now. And it's towing another boat. That's why it looked odd to me. Doing my best to. Yeah. I saw you coming. I saw your reflection in that glass balustrade. Otherwise, I wouldn't have seen you. A bit awkward for them there. Awkward for me as well, though. But there you go. So, this is Faisley Junction. We're coming. Oops. 
I'm hitting the bridge now. <laughs> the edge of the bridge. This is the glass balustrade here that I was looking at. <laughs> I saw a narrow boat and I could see it was towing something grey, but I couldn't uh, interpret exactly what it was. So this is Faisley Junction, a well-known stop. And on my left here is the Three Tons Public House. I think I should be mooring up here. There are rings and there's Armco. I've just gone a little bit past. I think I'll keep going for a while. Keep going. There's a lovely waterside development here. This is Peel's Wolf. I think it says long-term mooring, it's covered by vegetation. I think I'll carry on for a little while. It's not four o'clock yet. There is quite a lot of housing here actually, it's still carrying on. I think I'd rather be away from built-up areas, although this is all very nice quality housing. Sounds like something out of a western, doesn't it? Bone Hill. It's the A5 I've just gone under, which is the same road as I referred to earlier when I said I didn't know what road it was. Looking ahead, I can see some potential mooring spots more up here I think. I don't think the boat behind is occupied. I've moored up. I've really enjoyed today. <laughs> when I moored up there's the boat behind me which is unoccupied and there's one ahead. Now within a matter of about 10 minutes Another boat has moored ahead, so I've got two moored boats ahead and another one has moored behind, so I'm in the middle of a row of five boats. And I think that gives boaters comfort when there's other boats around. And it's a lovely spot. What was different for me today was breaking the journey. First the stop at Alvacote Priory and then the stop for shopping. I normally just cruise from when I start to when I finish. I then have my tea or lunch. It's normally quite late in the day. And I've really enjoyed having those two stops. It does make the journey more enjoyable, I have to say. When I stop at the end of the day, I spend a lot of time recharging batteries, copying over data from the cards, the camera cards, that takes a long time and I have to keep clearing space on my laptop to hold it. Then I have to back up on an external hard drive. You'll be amazed at how much time that involves. And then of course I like to start editing the day's uh, cruise. Sometimes I get on very well with that, sometimes I don't. So I've got a series of episodes which have been begun. Um, None of them are fully edited, <laughs> nor would I expect them to be. But some have been done ready for the final editing, others have still got quite a lot of work on them. So I'm going to call it a day now and um, thank you all for watching. I'm never really sure when an episode <laughs> ends. <laughs> I do take a lot of film. Sometimes I get one episode a day, sometimes I get two. Last year I even had three episodes from one day's cruising, so you can see it's quite a problem for me, um, a logistical problem to manage it all and keep on top of it. 
so I never know when I finish at the end of the day whether that's the end of an episode or the end of that day and tomorrow will be part of the same episode so anyway all I'm going to do for now is just say bye for now catch up with you later oh and thanks for watching so far good morning I'm just popping down to B&Q there's a few bits I want I'll catch up with you later Good morning everyone. I say good morning. It's actually gone 12 o'clock. I've done things very differently today. You've already seen that I popped down a B&Q for some supplies and now I'm going to get underway again. I have been doing some bits and pieces inside the boat, mainly editing, sorting myself out. There's no locks today. It's just pure cruising. Nothing over exciting, I don't think, but uh, you never know what you're going to find, particularly when you're on a canal you've never been on before. So I'm really looking forward to it, and very shortly I'll be underway again. No one behind me. So I wonder what today will bring. It is exciting being on a canal you've not been on before and not really knowing what you're going to come upon. This bridge is set slightly askew to the canal. Rather odd in a way, the way it's done. This is actually quite a large housing development that's going on. I'm going to have a sip of this whilst it's still cold out of the fridge. <laughs> bridge I'm coming up to. Very difficult to see through this one. About to pass the first boat of the day. spot isn't it? That boat there. I'm, try I'm just trying to reverse at the moment to avoid that boat. Sorry. It's a plastic boat up the front here which is just made life so awkward. private moorings on my left. Just about to go under Balls Bridge. That's a singular ball if anyone was wondering. Just coming into Hopwest now. Morning's 
tight through here, isn't it? I had a worse one back there just now with another boat. We're taking it very, very steady through there. Quite pleasant. Very pleasant indeed. Quite a few boats moored up beyond the next bridge. In fact, they're tucked in between two bridges. Not two jags, two bridges. It's worth noting there are mooring rings along here, which is very helpful. Anyone want to hire a day boat? There's a pub on my left. And there's a pub on my right, the Tain Otter. I forget, of course, it's much later in the day than usual. <laughs> it's quarter past one. <laughs> Hello. Very impressive garden you've got there. Coming up now to Hop West School Bridge. It's good to know they're educated here, isn't it? I see there's some mooring just on my right. The mooring is actually a bit limited because Behind me, you can't actually moor. You have to moor on this side, and it's two days and room for two boats. I don't think I've made it clear that I'm actually on the Birmingham and Faisley Canal. I should have mentioned that sooner. Sorry about that. On my left is the Hopras Hayes Wood. I was planning to ask whether there was another boat behind, but I can see that there isn't. They've just come under a bridge, so I had to slow down for them. The arches on these bridges are much shallower than what uh, I'm used to. The bridges are sort of squatter, whereas the ones I'm used to are rounder. <laughs> hope that makes sense. <laughs> I just passed the sign, Danger, Military Firing Range. I do seem to remember someone mentioning that, but I hadn't realised it was here. Ooh, uh. Just now I passed an excellent spot where there was a gap in the hedge and you could see through to the railway and I thought to myself I can picture me sitting there just watching the trains go by. Wouldn't that be so nice? Imagining that.
I'm actually going to stop and have some lunch. <laughs> Hadn't intended to, but uh, I think I will. Oops, haven't done that very well. I'm going too fast. very busy through here. <laughs> I just had two boats pass and the third one is coming. I've got this on. This means I've been down the weed hatch again and I have found something. Just found this. Hello. Looks like some form of plastic bag. Alright. Yes, yeah, so I've got something out, a bit of a plastic bag or something. I nearly didn't spot it because where I do my normal check and find something, it was clear. It was on the other side of the propeller. Normally things are between the propeller and the boat, but this was on the other side. And I could just faintly see something whitish floating. And I thought that doesn't quite look right. And this is what I found. I'm just going to have another check to make sure that's the finish of it. I think that's got it. <laughs> oh dear, dear, dear. Things that are sent to try us. I was getting a little bit of movement on the tiller arm. Sometimes it was there, sometimes it wasn't, and that's why I pulled over. I thought, yes, I better check, not carry on like it. Just checking to make sure the weed hatch cover is fully watertight before I set underway again. That's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed watching. Until next time, look after yourselves, your friends and families. Take the utmost care. Bye for now.